Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing how to configure extended memory within your HMI project, as well as how to use our recipe editor and in what scenarios these utilities might be helpful. Our HMIs, like any device, have a limited amount of storage and internal registers. Wintech's solution to this is a feature called extended memory. Extended memory can be used like any register on the HMI and is similar to our RW and RWA recipe data in that the data within these registers will not be erased when the HMI is powered off. And because this data is stored on an external storage device, it can also be transferred from one device to another. Moving pre-configured data in this way can be helpful when transferring parameters or device settings between HMIs, and overall this can add a lot of flexibility to your HMI project. On screen, you'll see I'm monitoring my HMI using CMT Viewer, and I'd like to point out that I'm currently using our first USB. Let's go ahead and switch to our second and see what happens. Now during this process, I'll need to reboot my HMI, which I can do fairly quickly. And you'll notice that our HMI's EM registers now reflect different values for the extended memory. Now, as I stated, this feature is very useful, but within certain applications, it's necessary to modify this data beforehand. To accomplish this, Wintech has created yet another useful utility, one that I've also discussed in some of our previous videos, the Recipe Editor. To find our Recipe Editor, I'll open our Utility Manager and select the Data Conversion tab. At the bottom of this list, we'll find our Recipe Editor. In our Chapter 1 video, I demonstrated some basic manipulation and how to open recipe files using our editor. One neat trick that I haven't covered is how to create a file from scratch. To do this, I'm going to select the New Page button on the top left corner. The dialog that follows shows the default configuration, which we can change depending on our application. Let's go ahead and start by naming our configuration. In this example, I've decided to name our data format as Recipe. But if you're following along, you can give this format a name that fits your application. Now we have 10 registers on our display, and because the data format varies between 16-bit unsigned and 5-word ASCII string, I'll need to add both within our data format list. I'll start by modifying the first item. Double clicking on data 0 will open our data type dialog. And because our data starts with an ASCII string, I'll change this to a five word ASCII string. And I'll name this item name and click OK when I'm finished. Now I'll need to create our second data type. I'll select add and we'll save this as 16 bit unsigned data and the name will be count. All right, so I've added two data formats within our list, but as I pointed out before, we have 10 objects on our interface. When we encounter a scenario such as this, that's where our address range comes into play. Within our object, we have five rows, and each row contains six words, five from our ASCII object and one from our numeric object, meaning we have a total of 30 words of data. So within our address range, we'll need to put from 0 to 29, giving us 30 words. This can also be seen within the registers of our project's start and end data. Now that I'm finished, I'll click OK and save our configuration. Let's go ahead and enter in some data. Now I've got some data filled in, and I'd like to note that had these been configured in a CSV file, I could have easily opened this within our recipe editor, and our data would have been automatically filled in, assuming our ASCII and numerical data is the correct length. Now let's save our configuration as em0.emi. And I'll go ahead and transfer this to a USB, and then to a device. So I've inserted our USB. Now let's reboot our device. And as you'll notice, our data configured is now displayed and our mock recipe is accessible within the HMI's project. 
If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.